Oh, I'm on tilt. I'm on full tilt now. All right, we're fine. That looked like a really bad Microsoft presentation. Uh, what what do they call the things between the slides? The transitions. Yes, it looked like a really bad Microsoft presentation transition. It's like something you'd see in a '90s music video. I love it. Can you get high off rock candy? I don't know. Probably shouldn't try. Alright, that's one down, two to go. Good job, baby girl. Right, so what's left to get done before it's good to race? We're still gonna need to get us some new tires and the transmission. I'll see what I can do about that tomorrow, I guess. I tell you, we're gonna have this baby ride as rain in no time. Hey, do you mind if I ask you something? Uh, sure. It's for my own sake, and I don't mean nothing by it. Okay. I just want to know, what do you believe in? Believe in? I mean, the big picture stuff, you know? I got to thinking, I made you go to a confession and all. Never stopped to think if it would even mean anything to you. What do I believe in? I guess above everything, I believe in love. Maybe I'm a little romantic, but it's the most important thing you can believe in. Lovin's all you needs! I got that album somewhere in the trailer, good listening. I know what you're talking about though, I think. If I didn't believe in love, I don't think I'd be here right now. I'd have probably given up on life a long time ago if I didn't think love was real. Hmm, well let me ask you this then. Does that love have to be directed at another person? Or can the kind of love you're talking about be directed elsewhere? Can a life-defining love come from something other than a person? Yeah. I suppose it could if your heart was really in it. In a way, I guess an artist is in love with his creation, or a patriot's in love with his country. Who am I to say that any love is more or less valid than the sort I believe in? You know, I think we'd get along better with folks outside the church if more people thought like that. I mean, that's all my faith really is, anyway. Love for something greater than an individual. Anyway, just a question is all. I got a curious mind for what sort of person you turned out into without me. Can't say I'm disappointed yet. Come on, let's get out of here before that fathead Stan comes over and starts harassing us. Fathead Stan! That's my new favorite insult. You fathead. Interesting. I guess we get to go sleepsies then. Do I need to eat? No. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything is glue. I should have 13 journals by now, I think. How many do I have? Hello? Um... There. 11. The sum of all my sins. I completed journal pages. Okay, well. Oh, good morning, Robin. Just saying hello to the fish. Sorry, this place is so claustrophobic. Have you considered my plan at all? You really think cutting stance breaks is wise? I really do, but again, it's your choice. What do you say? 16 days before I gotta be in San Verdano. Got two parts left. That's more than half the list left to get finished. Now that I look at the big picture, maybe it's not such a crazy idea. It is. No, let's not do it today. I still don't feel comfortable with the idea. If you change your mind, come see me before you leave for work. No, 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 Fuck you. I'm not cutting a man's brakes. Hey there, Colborn, was it? Well, if it isn't my new girlfriend, Robin. Yeah, sure. Look, Mark mentioned you might be able to help me with some car trouble. He said you might know where to get a new transmission for an old hot rod. A transmission? Yeah, I might be able to help you. Ain't gonna be cheap though, I'll tell you that. How much is that gonna cost me? Well, that all depends on whether or not I win the lottery today. What do you say we head down to the pawn shop and see how my luck is today? What do you say? Do I want to spend my morning going to the shop with you? Yeah, why not? We can go right now if you like. Alright, just give me a minute to change into my walking shoes. 
All right, let's get this going to the pawn shop. You lead the way. I will do this thing. To the pawn shop. Winning the lottery with an old man in tow. My favorite things. So why are we here again? Well, I'm hard up for cash and that dopey fool Barry's been on my case too long about trailer fees. If I don't get him paid today, I'm gonna have to s I'm gonna have to slew problems on my hand. Huh, you mean he'll kick you out of the trailer park? Wouldn't put it past him, to be honest with you. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Don't think I'm talking bad about the man, though. He's an alright fellow. Deserves to be paid for the service I take, so here's hoping we have some luck today. I don't trust my own fates right now, so you take this. Coburn gave you $50. Go to the machine and get me a 10 pack of cards and see if we win anything. I'm gonna go talk to Slick, see about pawning some things. You want me to scratch your cards for you? Might as well. I, I know I'll lose for sure if I do it. Just bring me back the winning ticket so I can cash them myself. I want to use my Seniors Pawn Plus card to earn the bonus rewards. If I meet Demon of the three winning tickets, they'll send me vouchers for a buffet dinner. Alright then, I'll scratch the cards and bring you the winners. We need ten things. So I'm gonna save again. Let's see if we can get him three things. Yep, there's one. Excellent. Hey, you finished my scratch cards yet, or what? Your scratch cards? Yeah, I finished with the machine. Alright, how many were winners? Well, let's see. Three of them? Looks like there were three winning cards. Buffet dinner, here I come! Yeehaw! Now, if you'll excuse me, Robin, we were in the middle of some business. Listen here, Slick, don't be such a stingy price Nazi. Give me a fair deal on it and we can both walk away happy. Look, I told you already. I don't get too many customers looking for historic place pieces these days. The offer I made is as good as it's gonna get. I'm telling you, there ain't- there aren't too many of these uniforms left. Not ones that were actually worn to the camps, at least. Which makes it all the tackier to sell it, don't you think? Look, I don't care how authentic your stuff is. I'm gonna have a hell of a time selling anything in this economy. Take it or leave it, that's my final offer. Fine, just do it. It's a deal. Give me a minute and I'll go ring it all up. What was that about? Well, I told you I needed some money, didn't I? Sometimes we gotta let go of the things from our past to move forward. Anyway, it's just stuff. Don't worry your head about it. Isn't there any other way to make the cash you need? I wish, but I'm too old to do any real work. Pawning stuff and gambling is about all I can do now. Ain't so bad, though. Life's a bit of a gamble on its own anyway. Heh, <laughs> tell me about it. My life's riding on a bit of a wager now, too. Mark and I have managed to get ourselves into a race over this old car of his. That stand guy at the scrapyard says if we can beat him, the car's ours. Only problem is if I don't win, I might never get out of this town. I take you getting out of here is something important, do you, then? Definitely. I've got to get a move on to San Verdano. Oh, and why is that? Someone's waiting out there for me. <laughs> I think things might work out for me, after all. Alright, here's your money. I don't want to hear any complaining when you come in here looking to get it back if I happen to sell it. Yeah, no problems with that at all, I promise. But I do have a proposition for you, slicky boy. Oh yeah, what's that? It's fine young woman's just informed me that Stan's finally gonna get some use out of his new racetrack. In fact, she's gonna be the one racing on it. So what are you getting at? All that means is I'll let him- <laughs> Is I'll am in here pawning stuff just like you after Stan wipes the floor with him. So certain, are you? Well, how about we make a little wager then? You suggesting a bet on the race? You've got my attention. If Stan loses, I get my stuff back, no questions asked. And if he wins? Well, then I give you your cash back. Seems fair enough to me. Alright, you crazy old bastard, you've got a deal. 
<laughs> you best not go blowing all that money, because I am sure to collect on my debts. Oh, don't you worry about that. See you around, Slick. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go back to your trailer. I did give him all the winning tickets, didn't I? I'm not an actual pansy. Yes. I gave him all the tickets. Every single tick. <laughs> Ain't this gonna be a kick in the pants? Nothing better than taking other people's money from them. I hate to tell you this, but there's no guarantee we're gonna win. Oh, nonsense. You said so yourself. You've got someone waiting on you. If I know one thing, it's that people don't fail when there's love on the line. Well, considering we're st we'll still need a new transmission for the car, we still might. Unless I can get the car all fixed and tuned up, there's not a chance in hell we'll win. Is that all you need? Hell, I've got a spare stick sitting in storage I could loan you. That'd be a huge help. I'll have it sent over to the shop. You and Mark can take care of it from there. Just do me a favor and make sure y'all win that race. We'll do our best. Bop bop. Bop. Time to go over to the shop and see if Mark is there. Hello. This is great! Only one more thing left and we're ready to race! Good job, baby girl! Right, so what's left to get done before it's good to race? We're still gonna need to get us some new tires. Darren, the boxing club. Yada yada. Well, just do your best and that's all we can ask. Speaking of asking, I've got another question for you. I've been wondering, what's a person like you want out of life? What do you mean by that? I mean, what motivates you? What do you hope to gain in this short life of ours? It's gotta be something, right? What do I want out of life? Happiness? I want what everyone else wants in life, to feel happy. Ah, uh, the journey you're on is starting to make a little more sense now. Happiness is something we all strive for, I'll give you that. But you gotta ask yourself, are you really ready to experience it? I'm not sure I understand. Well, our feelings are all relative to our experiences, right? In order to feel joy, you must first experience sorrow or there's no basis. Do you really feel like you've endured the sadness necessary to feel true happiness? Have I felt sad enough to feel true joy? If you know what I've been through lately, you wouldn't ask that. Absolutely, I felt enough sorrow to deserve happiness. Well, so long as you truly believe that, there's no rebutting it. Just remember that all joy in the present is reflective of pain in the past. All pain in the present reflective of former joys. That pendulum none of us can escape as we swing on the spiral of life. Huh, look at the time. We should probably pack up and head home shortly. I'll meet you back at the trailer later tonight. With any luck, we'll have this sucker done tomorrow. Let me go home. I'll probably need to eat before bed, but... Nah. Canal car. Nom nom nom. Hey, we've got some impeccable timing as it seems. I can't seem to get out of your way fast enough these mornings. Think about the plan? No. 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 Okay. Now that that's over with. I think she understood me when I said no all those times. It'd be hard to understand anybody if they just kept saying no, but I think she got it. Let's go get those tires. Which one of you is Daron? I think it's this guy? Yeah. Excuse me. Count it out for me, would you? Uh, sorry? From five, Muffin Top, let's go! Five? Oh yeah, feel the burn! Four? Come on, come on, baby! Three. That's the stuff, that's the ticket! 
Two. Oh, this is getting heavy. One. Shit, spot me. Shit, what do I do? I got this. It's alright, I got this. Let it down slow, let it down easy. Oof. Thanks for that, yo. Next time I'll get it for sure. Right, well, welcome to the Big Dog Blo Boxing Club. I'm the owner here, you can call me Duran. Right, I'm Robin. So what can I help you with? I was told you might have some spare tires kicking around here. I'm looking to get a hold of a full set for my friend's car. Yeah, I've got tires. I've got tires galore. Maybe I could give you a couple, maybe not. I guess it all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you've got what it takes to cut it with the big dog boxing club. We're a clan of warriors, you know, fighters to the core. I like what I see in you, but if you want my help, you gotta become one of us. Alright, how do I do that? By mastering the sweet science and besting my crew in the ring. You want me to fight you guys? No, of course not. What sort of uncivilized brutes do you take us for? You've gotta beat us at the refined art of big dog combo boxing. You're crazy, I'm gonna get pulverized. Maybe, I don't know. I've got a good feeling about you though, so don't sweat it. Right, well I was planning on keeping all my teeth today, so maybe later. Well, it's the only way you're gonna walking out of here with my prized tires. Tell you what though, if you're serious about it, I'll give you a free lesson. It won't take a minute, and who knows, maybe you'll enjoy it. You wanna teach me how to fight? Fine, let's go. Yeah, yeah! I'll see you in the ring. Alright, welcome to the ring. Pay attention to what I'm saying, cause one wrong step in here and you could be taking a dirt nap. You hearing me, Junior? Loud and clear, coach. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to know is how to throw punches. In combo boxing, we do everything in sets of four. This is for maximum hit efficiency and impact. You've got your cross, jab, and your hook. All of them are good for something. When you're fighting, you want to take a moment before you rush in and plan out your attack. That's how you get ahead. Why don't you go on and come at me with everything you've got? Let's see how swift you really are. Alright, here goes nothing. Alright. Cross. Jab. Hook. Jab. Not bad, not bad. You're gonna have to be a lot faster than that if you wanna hit me though. I'm the best there is. I didn't land a single punch on you. How the hell did you dodge all those hits? It's simple, Grasshopper. Anticipation and reaction. I knew what you were going to do before you did. But how? Every fighter's got a style, and if you do your research on your opponents, you'll know how to avoid their attacks. That brings us to our next lesson, dodging. Dodging is important for two big reasons. First, it'll save you from getting clobbered most of the time. Second, it'll give you a chance to catch your breath. Every punch you throw drains a little bit of your stam, but every successful dodge will give you a second to rest up. I bet you're already feeling winded, aren't you? Yes, I am. Alright, let's go through a dodge drill and get you back in fighting shape, then. I'm gonna call out my hits and you're gonna figure out which way to dodge. Just be careful, cause if you lean into a hit, it's really gonna hurt. Lean your dodge left and you should be able to clear any jabs or crosses, but a hook will hit you hard. Lean your dodge right and any hooks or crosses will miss you, but a good jab won't be fun. Lean your dodge back and both hooks and jabs will kiss wind, but a hard cross will kiss your face. You get all that, or you want me to go over it one more time? Um, I'm ready to doge! Alright, try not to get hit, cause I'm not gonna hold back on these throws. I'm gonna lean it, lead in with a jab. Jab is left. Then I'm gonna follow up with a hook. Hook is right. After that, we got a cross. Cross is either or. I'm gonna close in with another hard cross. Alright, I'm ready for you. Ow, what the hell was that? You said you were gonna throw a cross. That make that was a hook. I lied. I never trust your opponent completely. That's lesson three. That's smart, huh? Didn't want you to get too cocky without knowing what a failed lean feels like. Well, great. I've got it now. You got whacked there because of stupid mistakes. Remember the basics or you're gonna get hurt bad doing this. A cross will always hit if you dodge back, a jab will always hit if you dodge right, a hook will always hit if you dodge left. Every fighter's got a style and throws their punches with certain tendencies. Knowing which way to dodge won't save you all the time, but it'll definitely help you beat the odds. You ready to move on to the final lesson? Yeah, let's finish this. Let's get your stab back up before we start. 
All right, we've covered throwing punches against a dodging opponent, and we've covered dodging an opponent's strikes. Now you find out what happens if you're both throwing hits at the same time. So the basics here are pretty simple, but figuring out how to battle each fighter is tough. Learning their tendencies and coming up with a smart hit strategy is the only way you'll make it out of this ring alive. You remember your three basic hit types, right? Cross, jab, hook. That's right, but you know that when pitted against each other, certain hits are effective and others aren't. Crosses beat jabs, jabs beat hooks, hooks beat crosses. It's a beautiful trifecta of pain that goes round and round in a circle. Your opponent throws hooks, you throw jabs. Your opponent throws crosses, you throw hooks. They throw jabs, you throw crosses. Doing that, your strikes will land and theirs won't. Of course, the opponent's true as well, so be smart when calling your hits. What about if we both throw jabs or something? Matching hits will cancel each other out and glance off each other's gloves. You'll still tie yourself out, but at least you won't take any damage. You ready to move on to our final exercise, or do you need me to go over all that again? I got it. Alright, that's the spirit. I'm gonna call out my hits and you're gonna respond with hits to beat mine. I'm ready. Okay, first I'm gonna lead in with the hook. Jab. Then I'm gonna to toss a jab. A jab. It's a cross. I think. Yes. That followed by another jab. Another cross. And a big cross to close it. So a hook. Time to see what you've got. Good, good. Yeah, that's his ticket. You've got it, you've got it. Heh, <laughs> yeah, you got it. Now when you're facing a real opponent, they're not gonna tell you what hits they're gonna throw. I'd recommend taking some time gathering that information you can before the fighters here, before challenging them. You might get lucky here and there in a fight, but without a strategy, your goose will be cooked. Know your enemy better than you know yourself. Yeah, leave the platitudes to me, tiger. But yeah, that's it. And I now officially induct you into the big dog boxing club. Come see me when you're ready to start earning those tires you wanted. Darren give you a membership card. 